السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ومن ولا أما بعد dear attendees I'm thanking you جزاكم الله خيرا for joining with us and for being patient uh, to stay with us uh, so right now uh, by the grace of Almighty Allah, we almost completed our uh, competition session. Just we are uh, going to hear a speech of our honorable guests. And during a speeching, during delivery, delivering their speeches, then inshallah, I am going to make your result. And also we will declare the result here. Before that, um, I'm going to tell you that this this uh, result or this marks are totally dependent on your performance. I know all of my students, alhamdulillah, all of our students are talent, brilliant, uh, but someone felt here, uh, I mean, somebody's felt a nervousness or can, was confu or confused. Uh, that's why this is not matter. But Alhamdulillah, um, I'm thanking you a lot because everyone did good for performance. That's why. Okay, so right now I'm requesting our honorable guest, uh, Muhammad uh, Saeedul Islam, director of Chittagong University Student Research Center, uh, to deliver his uh, important speech towards us. Uh, so Honorable Mr. Muhammad Sayyid al-Islam, please, you may proceed. Awazubillahi minash shaitan al-rajim, bismillahi rahman rahim I am beginning my space by greeting everyone present at this beautiful event today. And take my salam. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A special thanks to, to Brother uh, Saifullah Muhammad Khaled to um, give me chance uh, to give me a floor in this uh, beautiful event. Uh, today, uh, a special thanks and greetings to Almighty Allah and greetings to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam. At this moment, I also uh, agree. Uh, I also uh, uh, try uh, one or two uh, give thanks to the, to the friends of our uh, students. Um, okay, my uh, dear students and audience who are present at this time, uh, those of you who particip participated in this competitive exam today, you are our future. Uh, you will grow up one day, inshallah. Our prayer that you will be much bigger than us one day, inshallah. But to grow up, you have to be very hardworking. You have to study. You have to respect your elders. Uh, listen to your teachers and friends also. Then you will grow up one day, inshallah. I will uh, finish my speech uh, by sharing, uh, by delivering some advice for our younger uh, all our students. Number one is, uh, we should avoid the use of mobile phone. Uh, number two is uh, we have to, uh, we are now, uh, now generation wake up in night. And so you have to avoid the wake up uh, in night because if we wake up in night, our brain is damaged day by day. This is very uh, harmful for physical uh, or also in mental way. Uh, uh, finally, I will say that, but you should practice the namas. Uh, then your intelligence will be good, inshallah. Okay, thank you, uh, everybody, uh, for uh, participating in today's event. Uh, I hope uh, this event is very, uh, very, uh, very uh, good for uh, the students. Uh, finally, I, again, I I am uh, I I am thanking the brother uh, Sayyidullah Muhammad Khaled and also the friends of our students 
because uh, they are very conscious about their uh, about their sons and daughters also uh, this is it uh, my uh, prayer may Allah bless all of you forever abundantly inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jazakallah khairan, uh, my dear brother Sayyid al Islam, for delivering a uh, very important speech for us. And oh, it's very important to know to inform you that uh, our Sayyid al Islam is also a very famous researcher of uh, pharmacy department of the University of Chicago. Just he completed his uh, master's degree on that subject. Okay, right now I'm requesting to honorable uh, guest, Mr. Maher Shams, is a famous Maulana as well as a Mufti. And right now he is doing job as Muraqib. Muraqib means Sharia, Sharia Inspector of Shah Jalal Islami Bank Limited, Dhaka. So I'm requesting to Honorable Mr. Mahi Shams to deliver uh, your important speech to us. Please, you may proceed. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ba'ath, wa la ta'ala, wa ratili al-Qur'ana tartila, wa khala ta'ala aydan, al-Rahman, allam al-Qur'an, khalaq al-Insan, allam al-Bayan. وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم من تعلم القرآن وعلمه صدق الله العظيم. The honorable guests, my dear students, and the trainee and the examinee of today's examination, and especially thank you, Maulana. Muhammad Saifullah, the authority and the principal of GIS Global Islamic School. Especially, I appreciate you and I appreciate you all to participate in this school. Actually, Global Islamic School is a bright and is a famous school. Actually, it's a online based school. I think Global Islamic School is a famous and two important which leading and the which spreading the knowledge of Quran and Sunnah, which is spreading the knowledge of Islamic studies throughout the world. And for such initial step I would like to thank my dear brother, Mr. Muhammad Saifullah Sa Khalid. And I want to thank today's all participants, the guardians and the students. And I wish for your uh, bright future, inshallah. So, as the time is too short, I'm going to finish my lecture. I'm going to finish my speech within a short time. Dear audience and my dear students, please listen to me carefully. First of all, praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created us, who has enriched us by knowledge and the praise to his messenger Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, who is the teacher of the world, who is the best and biggest teacher of the world, and who is the last prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the messenger of Allah that called Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. After all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and he rears us. He brings up us. 
He gave us the knowledge. He gave us the ideology. He gave us power. He gave us the power of thinking. He gave us the power of saying. He gave us the power of speech, the challenge, anything. He gave us the power to move for movement. Anything, every power, everything, every spare, every well-wisher, everything of the world is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why, first of all, we have to praise to Allah and please say everyone and tell everyone with me, Alhamdulillah. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically rebuilt a person, the last one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent many messengers in this world day by day after an era and the last messenger and the last prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the last prophet and the last rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our creator and muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after creating the creator of creating men and women, he sent and revealed a book, a guidelines by Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the book and the guidelines that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us. Do you know where the name is? That is Quran and the Sunnah. We got by Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's every teachings, all talks, all its peace, all works, all done, everything, all deeds, everything is called sunnah or hadith. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was said that the two things in this world how much you strongly you catch these two things you will never misguide any time and the two things is first of all quran the second one is sunnah that means hadith for that reason we should learn quran and hadith first of all we have to read the Quran fluently, correctly, such as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا Oh, my people, oh, the deeds, read the Quran correctly with tajweed. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also emphasized to read the Quran correctly with tajweed with rules and regulations. And the successful person, successful kari, successful reader is that who reads the Quran correctly with Tajweed. That's why we should learn, we should read the Quran correctly. The second of all, we should read Hadith. We should learn Islamic studies. Islam what is Islam? Islam is the combination of some rules and regulations, some restrictions guided, given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, guided and practiced by Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Islam is our religion. Islam is a complete good of life. So as a Muslim, we should follow Islam as a Muslim. We should follow Quran as a Muslim. We should follow Hadith as a Muslim. We should and we have to.
to we have to must follow the character of Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the idol, is the model of a Muslim. That's why we have to follow Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah subhanahu wa taala, the firstest ayah of Quran that revealed. Allah says, Iqra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq. First of all, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala read in Quran, then Allah said that, O oh mankind, O oh my people, first, at first, you have to read, you should read, you have to know, you have to acquire the knowledge. And the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said that طلب العلم فريضة على كل مسلم ومسلمة To acquire knowledge. That means the knowledge of Quran and Sunnah. The knowledge of Islam. Every man and woman. All people should learn Quran and Sunnah. All people should learn all people should acquire much, much, much and more knowledge. So Islam emphasizes us to acquire knowledge. So among many knowledges, Islamic studies, that means the knowledge of Quran and Sunnah is the most and most important. That's why we should know, we should read first of all Quran. Secondly, I want to brief how to read a Quran, how to read Hadith, how to learn from Islamic studies. First of all, we have to read Quran correctly. Tilawa. Second of all, we have to understand the meaning of Quran. What says the Quran? We have to acquire the summary of Quran. We have to understand the Quran. After that, we have to follow the Quran. <laughs> Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what expressed? What did? What told? What said? What ordered us? What forbidden us? All the rules and regulations all the guidelines provided by Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is called the sunnah. So secondly, after Quran, we have to follow the rules and regulations of the sunnah. Okay. Second of all, third of all, by compromising and the combination of Quran and sunnah, we have to acquire much knowledge about Islamic studies. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught in Quran many du'as. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also taught many du'as in hadith. We have to know those du'as. We have to know those du'a. We have to acquire those du'a from Quran and sunnah. And we have to practice in every day's life. If we practice all the du'as from Quran and sunnah, then we are Muslim, then we will be a successful Muslim. If we apply this dua, if we apply the Quran and Sunnah, we will be a happy, we can lead a happy life, inshallah. So, uh, no more today. Actually, what I, I would try to make understand you that first, one thing we should must do that we have to acquire much and more knowledge. We have to study more and more. We have to know the new things every day. We have to update us. We have to update our knowledge every day. We have to read the Quran and Hadith every day. We have to read and we have to understand the Quran and Sunnah more and more. As well as we have to know many, many kinds of knowledge, such as we have to be an alim, we have to be an engineer, 
We have to be a doctor. We have to be a moral and a model for mankind. We have to ensure, we have to write our character. We should obey our parents. We should obey our elders. We should obey and we should respect our teachers. All things. So I especially pray for those who participated today's program. And I especially pray for those who was the examining of today's class, today's examination. And after all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I pray to Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that Allah increase our knowledge. Our knowledge. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Raham. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gives us help. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us in every sphere of life. So, the participant of today's uh, meeting and the program, I would like to thanks and I would like to cordial thanks to all. Uh, actually, uh, the time is too short and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us full acceptance and especially thanks to Mr. Muhammad Maulana uh, Saifullah Muhammad Khaled for these kinds of the big arrangement. Uh, and I appreciate you. I want to request you, please uh, do this, uh, do, do the better job and please continue these kinds of uh, preaching of knowledge. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your school. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your khidma. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your services. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all us acceptance for him. So now what today? Wa ma tawfiqi illa billah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Jazakallahu khairan honorable Mahir Shams to for delivering your kind speech for us. May Allah increase in your knowledge and give barakah. Amen. Okay, so right now we are almost end of the session. So I would like to request uh, Mr. Mahishans to declare uh, their competition result. I already Alhamdulillah, I prepared that. I think we should just uh, declare uh, first, second, and third position, and, and and the other marks they can see themselves. So okay. I think you can see uh, my screen, right? Okay. okay uh, please, yeah, yeah, yeah. to just I also I also. Uh, did mark I I mean I I bolded then first second and third uh, okay Bismillah first of all I uh, I will congratulate every candidates and every examinee all examinees of today's examination uh, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala increase your knowledge and acceptance accept uh, acceptabilities uh, so according to uh, today's examination. I want to publish the result uh, of first and second and the third. And um, after calculating, after calculation, the third place gain, Mr. Thani from Michigan. He was placed the third position from today. And a special congratulation to uh, Mr. Thani. And the second position gain uh, from Washington. Suhaira. So Suhaira gained the second position uh, in today's examination. Yeah. And the first position how gained uh, today's the warm congratulation to Mr. Mahir Amin from Italy. He gained the first scorer is and the second position, Mr. Suhaira's uh, marks is 73.9 point. And the third one, Tahani, 
the S score is 72. And the rest of all, uh, for everyone, congratulations, inshallah. You will try uh, your best. Inshallah, in future, in your next exam, inshallah, you will be qualified. You have to be first or you have to be second. You have to be third. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase your knowledge. Uh, so best of luck, especially thanks uh, from, uh, from me, the scorer who achieved the first, second, and third position. And as well as for every scorer, for exit. Okay, congratulations, Mr. Mahir Amin. Mahir Amin, congratulations. And the Tahani. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah uh, khairan. Honorable Mahir Shams. Jazakallah khairan, Honorable Mahir Shams, and all the guests, and all Honorable Guardians. So, as our previous commitment for inspiring, we declared that for the first owner, first position owner, there is a prize, a gift for $50, and a prize uh, for the second one, there is $30, and the, for the third one, uh, there is a prize for gift for $20. And congratulations to all of you. But uh, as competition or as test, we have to declare our position. But everyone did. I hear you, mashallah, everyone did good. So that's why not to be worried. And this gift is for inspiring that who couldn't get these prizes, then you can be inspired for the next one. Inshallah, uh, because of our guardians' inspiration, we got inspire, inspired that. Inshallah, we will try to arrange like this uh, competition oh, again and again. That's why. Okay. So, Jazakumullahu Khairan, everyone, for giving your precious time to us. Um, please, uh, if you have any questions, just ask me alone, okay? Right now, we are because, uh, honorable guest, this is, this is the sleeping time for. Honorable guest, uh, that's why. So I think um, it's okay. Yeah. Do you have, okay? If you have any question, I will ask you. Wait. So, okay, up to here is our session. Jazakumullahu May Allah grant you and may Allah give barakah in your knowledge and May Allah grant our school, our effort for deed. Amen.